Changes to a road where a 15-year-old girl died in a crash this weekend. This is all happening on the southeast side of the city. Four teenagers were inside the car that went into a retention pond off Fry Road. News 8's Angeli Cockaday joins us live from that spot. Uh, and the word that people have already started a petition drive. Asking for changes, Angeli? Good morning. Yeah, that petition currently has more than 7,500 signatures. Neighbors here are hoping that Marion County officials will put in a guardrail here on Fry Road, saying that the rail would have prevented the car from going off the road, hitting these trees, and of course, landing into this retention pond. Now, the speed limit on the road ranges from 20 to 30 miles per hour, but according to the petition, which cites the U.S. Department of Transportation, guardrails are designed to absorb the energy of a car traveling at 62 miles per hour. Organizers behind the petition say in Saturday night's crash, a guardrail would have absorbed the energy and redirected the vehicle back onto the road. Now, the crash happened Saturday night just before 7 p.m. when officers in the area responded to reports of a car submerged. The car had four teens inside. Two of them managed to get out and swim to safety on their own. Police pulled the other two out of the back seat. They were taken to area hospitals where the girl later died and a 16-year-old boy is still in critical condition. Now, despite the petition calling for road changes, it is important to note the crash is still under investigation. In Indianapolis, Angelie Cockaday, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Angelie, thank you.